You heard the name of Alexander the Great before, a political and military genius who conquered the greatest empire in time, which extended up to the border of India. In Egypt, only he was a king of tiny state. A barely in thirty, he fulfilled his dream in history that unite east and west. In this video, we are going to demonstrate how defeat each enemy established the largest empire the ancient world had ever seen. In 334 BC, he started invasion in Persia. Invasion of Persian Empire was the most aggressive and ultimate decision in history, and it all began with the Battle of Granicus. With 5,100 cavalry and 32,000 infantry soldiers, he faced Persian on the bank of the river Granicus. Present day, Turkey. Persian have a 20,000 cavalry and approximately the same number of infantry. After the very tough fight, victory went to Alexander and Macedonian. Considerable loss in Alexander's side, 400 dead and 2,000 wounded, while the Persian get a very heavy losses as a 5,000 dead and 2,000 captured. And winning of this battle, he penetrated inside kingdom of Persia. In next year 333 BC, Alexander the Great second battle against the Persian army is the Battle of Hesus. This is the first battle in which the direct engagement of Darius III, who is the king of the Great Persian Empire. Persian is larger in number but due to defensive approach, they get defeated. And Darius fled with his remaining troops. After visiting Egypt and Jerusalem, he moves towards Babylon. Next battle with the turning point of the history, that is Battle of Guagamela. One side the Darius III, commander of the largest army in the earth, and other side the most advanced force led by a 26-year-old commander Alexander, who was going to face five times larger than his army. In 331, near the small village of Guagamela, present day Iraq, they were going to collide. With ultimate tactics and decision, victory went to Alexander. And after this war, he became the new king of Persia. After winning of the Persian Empire, Alexander moves to us northern India. And at the Hidaspas River, he faced an army of Indian king Porus. And this battle was known as Battle of Hidaspas. In this battle, they face a new kind of weapons, that is giant elephant. Finally, all difficulty, Alexander wins this battle, but he get wounded and also lost his most favorite horse, Besalifus. After this war, he decided went back to home and returned to Babylon. So this is the invasion journey of Alexander.